Remember to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. Midway into the season, I made a video about how great Aoashi is. Now that the season has finished, I want to look at how much better it got and what new things impressed me. This season was honestly spectacular. They chose the perfect match to send off the season. One that was filled with epic moments and a glorious victory. And the very last scene of the four joining the A-team for practice was hype and a perfect way to tease the next season. The anime did an amazing job with pacing. The final scene of season 1 is the start of chapter 119, although chapter 118 was skipped so that this could happen. This reorganization benefited the anime. So the anime adapted 117 chapters in 24 episodes. That's a pace of 4.87 chapters per episode. That's beyond double what normal weekly manga adaptations do. But because Aoashi is a slow manga, this was necessary to keep the pacing acceptable. The character development and usage in the second half of the season was just as good, if not better, than the first half. I'll start with Yoshitsune. His purpose was to serve as a ceiling character. I talked about this in my power escalation video, but good stories will introduce a character that hits the power ceiling to serve as a checkpoint for what the main characters can achieve in the future. This is exactly what Yoshitsune is. He's a beast, but in a way that's realistic to soccer. He has his own solo skills, like doing a rainbow and meg in the manga, but he doesn't do everything alone. He links up passes with teammates more than he dribbles past players. When on the B team, his superiority was extremely evident, even having Ashito wanting to be like him. But his response hints that Ashito's ceiling character should be Kuribayashi since their playstyles are similar. Togashi's flashback was another powerful display of character that set up for a great payoff. His beef with the youth players is that they didn't play to win, they played to go pro. This meant that they'd only play seriously when important coaches were watching. It also meant that they wouldn't put their bodies in harm's way, unlike Togashi, who stopped a goal at the cost of receiving a bloody injury. This is the rift between Togashi and the youth players. Kuroda even told Ashito to beware of Togashi back in the first half, but this is only elaborated on here. In the final game of the season, episode 22, Kuroda's character arc plays with this flashback. While Togashi and Takashima are struggling to work together, the opponent's best striker gets past them and takes a shot, but Kuroda stops the goal at the cost of receiving a bloody injury, keeping their one-point lead. This shows character development in Kuroda and serves as the catalyst for Togashi and Takashima getting their act together. It is beautiful and poetic symmetry. Tachibana's character arc is also amazing. During the second half, he starts losing confidence in himself and believing that he's a fraud. During the game with Yoshitsune, Ashito called him out for being offside, damaging his confidence as a striker. Seeing Yoshitsune's amazingness did the same. After meeting Kaneda, someone who plays for the team he used to, and seeing how great he's become, having scored many goals, his insecurity hits a peak. Tachibana has no goals to his name and decides to ask the coach to remove him from the Musashino game, but the coach still puts him in because he believes that this is the best team. When Tachibana remembers this quote in episode 22, his confidence returns and he's able to execute skills he's always been capable of, which were shown in the tryouts. He stops being too serious and shouldering all of responsibility. He's able to go back, tackle a player to get a ball, link up passes, and score the most breathtaking goal that I've seen in fiction or reality. This is also the first goal in a match that Musashino had been dominating, boosting the team's morale. Finally, Kaneda served as an amazing rival. He failed at Espirion tryouts and blamed Ashito, but when he moved to Musashino, he got way better. He put on muscle and became an elite goal-scoring machine. As I said before, his status added to the descent of Tachibana, and his grudge against Espirion made their upcoming match more personal, increasing anticipation. Thankfully, it ended up being the best match of the season. He's such a dangerous player without Espirion, which is impressive. His game even causes problems for Togashi and Takeshima. Finally, after Espirion starts dominating, he loses faith in himself and starts descending, believing he's a fraud. But with motivation from his team captain, he's able to pick himself back up. The story managed to make me temporarily root for the antagonist in a match that I've been so passionately rooting for the protagonists. To recap, Kaneda impacted Tachibana's arc, he impacted Togashi and Takeshima's arc, and he had an arc of his own. This story masterfully synthesizes concepts and ideas together. The second half also introduced more soccer skills and tactics. I appreciate the focus on team tactics rather than simply solo skills because the sport of football utilizes both, but the former is more important. The offside trap is introduced as a defensive tactic to prevent long passes and is used brilliantly by Musashino. High press is another team move where the players play higher up on the field, basically leaning towards offense rather than balance. The diagonal run was the best executed technique, 
by running diagonally, a player can confuse the defensive line because it's not clear who should contest them, and then the defensive line has to move around to cover for their out of position defender. Finally, they addressed passes with messages, which is something Kurita criticized Ashito for not knowing in the first half. In this half, Ashito passed Kurita a slow ball, and this gave him the message to keep it and look for space. Once again, poetic symmetry. In conclusion, Aoashi's second half is spectacular because it utilizes types of characters in intriguing ways. It executes multiple character arcs and interweaves them, and it delivers more realistic soccer skills and strategies, all at a perfect pace. Aoashi is definitely one of the best sports anime of all time, and is the peak of soccer anime so far. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.